Okay, so now we're going to make our little um, felted penguin. This will be the second project in the bird camp. And there's just a couple I've made before, so we have something to look at where we're going with this. Um, but we're making different feet. These have like the little toothpick feet, which you still can do, but I made these. These have the, um, these are the ones, um, the video with the pipe cleaner, um, wire armature and then the web webbed feet. I think there's maybe two different videos to show that. So I got a little head start on this because I've gotten some feedback that people like there's some some videos that are really short and some that are really long and I've gotten some feedback that we like the shorter ones. So um, this one if you can see has the bird shape. We already did the bird shape and what I did was um, on the face I put white. I kind of you can just make this round shape or you can make this um, kind of heart shaped face with the widow's peak. And I did, I put the bright white on the face here and on the belly chest area. And then I also, see how I can't help myself but to keep poking because it's not that well, it's not completely felted down yet. Um, and then I did, so this one is really simple, the tail the tail's black and the wings are black and then the back of the head is black. So I'm gonna do um, some of that to show you. And um, and then either we'll keep going or I'll make a separate video to do the face um, and attach the feet. So, and this is, this is a really, both the chick and the penguin are really pretty simple projects and we'll probably spend a lot more time this week on the owl, which has so much more detail to it in so many ways. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna switch to a single needle. Um, here, I'm gonna put my needle in, in case anybody needs a refresher on that. Um, so when you're doing the white at first, you don't have to worry about getting the nice line because you're gonna cover it with the black, but then when you add the black, you'll just start on the wing. Um, you're gonna to wanna to do that thing that I always talk about, which is that you do the edge first and you're gonna to wanna to angle the needle toward the color that you're adding. So I'm gonna make this nice line right here along that the indent and the division between the chest belly area of the bird and this wing. And I'm gonna just keep pulling the wool over. So it covers that area. And then once I get that line nice, so see here, because on this particular bird, the owl is gonna be a little different because you're gonna make every section every section different. Um, but on this one, we're just now gonna poke all this down. And um, I will go to the edge of this wing just because not, I'm not gonna worry about getting the colors separated because it's the same color but I would like to make sure I keep the definition in the sculptural aspect of the wing. So I'm going to still go on an angle over here so that it maintains the shape. And then I gotta poke all over because some of this in the middle now is just wool laying on top of other wool and it's not actually felted in yet. So I'm gonna go all around. And then I'm gonna look for spots. I don't know if you can see on the video, but right here, um, there's a little spot where it needs a little more wool. So I'm just gonna put a little little smidge of wool and whenever you add, just make sure it's kind of wispy on the edges and that will help it blend in nicely. So I'm getting that all poked in. And let's do the back of the head now and then Maybe I'll do the other wing on my own and then we'll, we will make this a separate video. Penguin, okay. So I'm gonna take some more wool and you see how I made this? You can make this shape, like I said, it can just be the round. I make, some of these have more, the shapes are a little different, but I do um, on the penguin like to make this little peak in the center. I think I do that for the owl too, most of them, so. Um, where are we going to start? Let's start at the, like at the neck. Um, you guys see this spot like along this line and I can, 
Like when we're doing the owl, we are gonna make every section different. So I'm just gonna show you that you can make this line distinct too. But on this one, we are just gonna make this black anyway. But um, I'm gonna just go along this line and can you see that I'm angling the needle? Well, it's a little light here. I need to get a little more wool there. I'm angling the needle toward the black And right along that line, the, the line between the, see, I kind of just smudged it right there. But right, and I'm gonna go right to the center here and poke that down a little more. I'm actually going toward the white just to get that peak really pointy. And then before I go to the rest of the front, I'm gonna get this all poked down in place. And see, it's still really light right there, I'm gonna, a little more wool there. So and this is a process and you might get it right the first time, but if, like it's so easy just to go back over spots that you missed and with little wisps of wool and add them in. And high spots you can felt down and low spots you can add more wool. So it's always, always a way to, to get it to where you want it to go. So right there, so I'm still seeing some, I don't know, can you see that? <laughs> right there is like a little spot, like a little bald spot. I'm just gonna add a little more there. I've got some little white threads mixed in with the black, but pull those out. Don't try to use your needle to get out if you get colors mixed together. Don't try to use the needle for that. Okay. So let me just do the other side of the face and then I can probably do this off camera and rejoin you for the face. Okay, so I'm gonna just take some more of this wool. I'm gonna lay it along here. And it doesn't matter how neatly I lay it, it matters how neatly I poke it. So you see how even though it's all all over the place. If I poke it in exactly where I want it to go, it's gonna get all neatened up. You know, this is all, it's all wild. It's all gonna get felted down. Um, and I should say, um, I should have said at the beginning of this, but if this head was really squishy and you started adding this color, it's gonna get, it's probably gonna get felted down and be too small and you'll have to build it up with the black and the white. So. Make sure before you start adding color that all these shapes are nice and firmed up. Because you'll just save your, you can build this up with the black and the white wool, but it's just more efficient. The more felting you're gonna do, the more you're gonna wanna pay attention to making the most of your core wool. You see, I noticed a little spot right there on the wing that wasn't quite as dark as I wanted. Um, now I'm going around, I've got this line. So you're gonna to wanna to see this peak, see if you got it as, as pronounced as you want it. I'm gonna add a little more up here. So just to get that a little more pronounced, I'm gonna make a little V shape up here. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at it. I mean, you, you get a, when you're doing the white part, you can, Try to see if it's symmetrical, but you're actually gonna get a better look at it once the black is on, it's gonna be more obvious. Okay. So that's looking pretty good, but at the back of the head still needs some work. I'm gonna do this. And then I think we can end this video here. And I'll finish the other wing and neaten a lot of this up. And you just see that every, so the, it's the, the face, the front of the face is white, the back of the head is black, the, the um, wings are both black and the tail is black. Those are all the parts on the, on the, bottom, the bird body. And I too take the white all the way down, do that whole section, even though some of it's gonna get covered by feet. Um, so I'm just gonna neaten this up and finish felting the back of the head and the other wing. And then we'll just be ready to do um, penguin face, which is pretty simple. And then we're gonna attach 
these feet, um, and that's attaching wire feet is trickier than just than attaching the those feet because again we don't want to break our needle on the wire. Okay, so I'm gonna I will finish this up and meet you back in a few minutes.